Earth's atmosphere can be broken up into four individual layers, separated by invisible changes in air temperature. The first of the four layers... The Troposphere! The troposphere is the layer of the atmosphere inhabited by every living creature on Earth, and where all weather occurs. It extends from the ground to roughly seven and a half miles above Earth's surface. Temperatures in the troposphere are constantly changing. As you climb an altitude through the troposphere, the air temperature begins to decrease, eventually dropping to 52 degrees below zero. Where the temperature in the atmosphere stops dropping, the second layer of the atmosphere begins. The stratosphere! The stratosphere contains the ozone layer. It protects every living thing on Earth from dangerous ultraviolet rays given off by the sun. The ozone layer has a higher concentration of ozone than anywhere else in the atmosphere. Ozone forms when ultraviolet rays from the sun split molecules of oxygen in half. After being split by the ultraviolet rays, the now single oxygen atoms attach themselves to unharmed O2 molecules, forming an O3 molecule, or ozone. The ozone absorbs harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun and converts it into heat. This warms the stratosphere from negative 52 degrees to negative 3 degrees. The stratosphere ends at approximately 31 miles above the Earth's surface, leading to the mesosphere. We know we've entered the mesosphere when the temperature drops again, eventually reaching negative 90 degrees. This drop in temperature occurs because the ozone layer is no longer around to heat up the surrounding atmosphere. Because of the very cold temperatures, ice crystals can be found in the mesosphere. The mesosphere isn't just really cold, it also protects the Earth from being struck by meteors and metal junk hanging out in space. In fact, if it weren't for the mesosphere, the Earth would be full of craters, just like the moon. So how does the mesosphere protect the Earth from the endless flood of life-threatening meteors? Well, incoming meteors and space junk collide with the ice crystals and other meteor debris floating around the mesosphere. This collision creates friction and heat, and that destroys the meteors and space junk, leaving behind trails of glowing hot gases. These are the shooting stars that you sometimes see in the night sky. The mesosphere extends out 53 miles above the Earth's surface. After that, you reach the point of no return before the vast, dark vacuum of outer space. The thermosphere! When the sun's rays start to heat up the atmosphere once again, we've reached the thermosphere. There is nothing protecting this layer of the atmosphere from the heat of the sun. That's why its temperature heats up to 1800 degrees Celsius. This is one reason why astronauts use spacesuits. They also use them because the air is so thin it is impossible to breathe. The thermosphere is separated into two different sections, the ionosphere and the exosphere. The ionosphere is full of electrically charged atoms. These atoms are called ions. They are responsible for bouncing radio waves back to the Earth's surface. The ionosphere is also home to the aurora borealis, or the northern lights. These amazing light shows are caused when the solar particles strike atoms in the ionosphere, causing them to glow. The second section of the thermosphere is the exosphere. The exosphere is where satellites that relay television and phone signals orbit our planet. Now, let's see what you've learned. Complete the following questions to the best of your ability. Go! The layers of the atmosphere are broken up into four sections, based on what? You're really close, but think about what happens to the atmosphere as you get closer to space. What is the most important change? Try again. This is a good reason for astronauts to wear spacesuits. But there is another reason why the atmosphere is broken up into four sections. Try again. The layers of the atmosphere would never fight each other. Try again. Exactly. The layers of the atmosphere are broken into distinct layers based on changes in temperature. Why does the moon have so many craters? The moon does have less gravity than the planet Earth, 
but it seems to me that less gravity wouldn't be the reason the moon has so many craters. Gravity pulls objects closer to other objects, which isn't the case here. Think about it, what aspect of the moon would leave it open to meteors? There aren't any recorded meteor hotspots near the moon's orbit. If there were, something tells me that the Earth would have meteor showers more often. No debating that, but what's the scientific reason? What makes the Earth and the Moon so different? That's right, the Earth's mesosphere protects us from meteoroids. Since the Moon does not have an atmosphere, it is forever doomed to be beaten up by low-flying meteors. Poor Moon. Which layer of the atmosphere contains the ozone layer? The thermosphere is the layer of the atmosphere that is closest to the sun, so you would expect that the ozone layer, which protects us from the sun's dangerous UV rays, would be contained within it. However, while it does protect us from the sun's UV rays, the ozone layer lies closer to the Earth's surface. The mesosphere is too busy fighting off space junk and meteors to take care of the looming threat of ultraviolet rays, but you're getting warmer. The troposphere is where we live. The ozone layer is meant to protect every living thing on Earth from dangerous ultraviolet radiation. If it were in the same section of the atmosphere we live in, we would be dangerously exposed to UV rays, and the ozone would be unable to protect us. Think a little higher. Try again. Yes, the stratosphere. That's correct. Home to the ozone layer. Remember the ozone layer keeps us from getting really horribly burnt by super dangerous ultraviolet rays. So take care of it. Good job. You really know your atmosphere. <laughs>